In physiologic splitting, the split S2 can be a normal finding in the appropriate clinical setting. What you'll typically hear is a slight delay in the closure of the aortic and pulmonic valves, which results in the splitting of S2. The splitting of S2 is exaggerated during inspiration because of two reasons. The first is that when you breathe in, there is an expansion of the intrathoracic cavity, resulting in a decrease in intrathoracic pressure. This change in pressure facilitates increased venous return to the right side of the heart, resulting in an increased right ventricular volume when compared to the left ventricle. Because of this pressure gradient and increased volume, we now have a situation where it takes the right ventricle longer to pump out blood during systole, resulting in the pulmonic valve closing later than the aortic valve. The second reason for why we hear S2 splitting during inspiration is that the capacity of pulmonary circulation increases when we take a breath in. This factor also contributes to the delayed closure of the pulmonic valve. This difference in valve closure between aortic and pulmonic valves results in the split S2 you hear during inspiration and is a normal finding. Because changes in intrathoracic pressure vary depending on cycles of inspiration and expiration, you can typically expect the duration of time between the split S2 to vary as well. These variations in splitting is a key point to remember with physiologic splitting and identifies this from other potentially abnormal forms of S2 splitting. Like I had talked about earlier in this video, the split S2 is exaggerated during inspiration, but as a person expires or breathes out, intrathoracic pressure increases and you could expect this split to narrow. And sometimes this split becomes so difficult to differentiate because of how closely A2 and P2 occur and at times may even merge to produce a single S2 heart sound. In some instances, like in the pediatric population, the split S2 heart sound may not merge into a single audible S2 heart sound during expiration. This, of course, would still be considered a normal finding in this patient population. But the splitting of the S2 heart sound that occurs and still persists during expiration can suggest underlying pathology. We call this the pathologic splitting of the S2 heart sound. To learn more about the pathologic forms of S2 splitting, visit medschool.com slash auscultate, where you'll find our web application and interactive library of heart sounds. You'll be able to explore interactive content like the ability to compare sounds, along with the possibility of listening to different variations of a heart sound based on pathology or the position of your stethoscope. You'll also find quizzes to test how well you've learned the sounds that you've been trying to master. Visit medschool.com slash auscultate to learn more.